Hey guys, it's uh, Ray and Justin. How you doing? The, the guy behind the camera yep. from uh, Galuccio Collectibles. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary of the Flintstones. Um, I, me, a child of the 70s slash 80s, grew up with the original one. Well, reruns, obviously. I was born in 67, so of the original cartoon uh, Flintstones. And I thought it was pretty cool when they, they did the uh, live action. They waited a while to do mm -hmm. a live action. Uh, Flintstones probably just right away for the right actors and stuff like that. So... Um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're uh, like I always do, I review toys, fix toys, all that stuff, but today's going to be a review. And yeah. because you're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Flintstones, of the Flintstones which it, by the time you're watching this, we don't know when you're watching this, but for our time, it was Monday, yesterday. Yeah. So, there you go. Cool. All right, well, so let's start with the first thing. So, most of the stuff, um, you'll see Justin, uh, Justin Talks Puppets 2. Yeah, he we, we did a video, so it's probably going to be rehashing it. Um, but I've been accused of being a cheater by my son, so I actually, <laughs> <laughs> we joke around. So, yeah, it, uh, this is my video, my tribute to yep. it. Um, so, most of the stuff, uh, so we'll show thrift store, thrift store, thrift store, thrift store, thrift store, thrift store. The Flintmobile, the two uh, Barney and Fred, and Dino. Oh, no, no, sorry, yeah, I came from a different place, no thrift store. So, uh, Barney, Fred, and the Flintmobile came from eBay. Dino came from Ontario Comic Con. Yep. <laughs> but most of the stuff came from a set from a thrift store. So, so this one, this, this, we'll start with Fred. This is the uh, uh, by Dankin. It came out. It uh, looks exactly like uh, John Goodman. He's got uh, PVC arms or plastic arms, plastic feet, and legs, and a plastic head and a soft body. The cool thing about him is it must have been a store display because if I move this so you can see it. That's actually the Flintstones uh, movie uh, okay. logo. So I'm thinking that's a store space. I don't think they sold those to the general public. So mm. that's kind of cool. And then we have Fred, who I grew up with, Fred Flintstone from the cartoons. Yep, the original Hanna and Barbera. And Fred has a soft body and a you know a hard plastic head. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then next we have the Flintstones uh, official movie book. It worked out last time when you did this. We can't do it. So, so what this book does is it tells you about the movie. There's a logo again. It tells you about the introduction. It tells you about the movie. Uh, assembling the team, the story. Uh, it's pre-production and the casting. Casting the right people. There's Halle Berry, who you yep. just talked about. Yep. All the actors and actresses. Yep. <laughs> and the comic author who was in a bunch. He was actually, um, if you guys are into Dune... That's a reboot. The original Dune was back in the late '80s, early '90s, I believe. I know, probably mid, mid, mid to late '80s. And uh, Kyle McLaughlin plays the lead, the lead in that. <laughs> Very interesting movie. They had, they had when we went to go see it, um, they had to pass out uh, vocabulary, like words they were saying, so you know exactly what the hell they were talking <laughs> about. It was just weird. It made me think too much and it made my head hurt. So. Um, and then there's the tell you about production design, you know, uh, the building, sets. building the buildings, the sets, the animatronic dinosaurs. These are a lot of practical applications, uh, puppets, um, and early CGI. They did a lot of practical applications because early CGI was not that great. No. But even for the time, you know, it stands as a time. I'm sure the artists painting the <laughs> puppets, painting the mechanical stuff. I was at Disney. And there you go. Boom. Yep. Now we're dropping this. Yeah, I'm not going to pick up this Fred because he was a pain in the butt to get back in. So, mm -hmm. uh, And this is another Fred. Uh, again, John Goodman. Uh, he's got a, a hard plastic head and no... Everything else is uh, is uh, soft. Uh, he's supposed to talk. Again, when you get to a thrift store, you get what you get. So he's got all the, the pouch and stuff to put the mechanical stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But someone took it out. Cause yeah, maybe it was jacked up, or they probably washed them by accident. They, yeah, they washed them by accident <laughs> and destroyed everything. So yeah, that's probably what happened. Um, now the funny part is because this Fred, which is really cool, you actually got the bigger version of Fred that they sold, and then there's like a smaller version of him as well. Yeah, but he's just a plush. Yeah. So yep. I mean, and this this is the, I think probably by far the best the best one. Oh yeah. 
because he stands up and it's a really good representation of Fred. Definitely. And it's kind of like a taller version of him. They kind of made him look, they, they look like Oompa Loompas. Like, right. They, 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 they got no they, neck. Their feet are so short. <laughs> it was nice. They probably, probably so they could fit him in the car. I, guess. I, I don't know. They look interesting. But, uh, and then we got the movie, the VHS. VHS. I never thought VHS would make a comeback, but uh, here you go. And just so you know, it's the actual one, not some fake tape we stuck in there. Yeah. Although there's a guy on Instagram now making uh, his own versions of uh, I mean, VHS tape, I which mean, is pretty cool. I mean, I guess if they, for some reason you can't find it or they think you can make a better one, they can not mess that stuff. So we have a problem with the other Fred. <laughs> okay, and uh, last but not least, glasses. Uh, the Flintstones teamed up with uh, McDonald's. And it became Rock Donalds, where they would hang out. There's different versions. Like this, this is a, this is called. The, and I only know this because we did a just a just a video. This is called the tremendous mu tremendous mug. And on the bottom, it'll show you, but I don't know if you can see it. But we'll just shoot it, just so you can. Kinda, you just kind of see the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah so cool. Um, and then this was the mammoth mug. And on the bottom, it also says the Flintstones, mm -hmm. and it tells you what mug it is. It's the only reason why I know. Trust me, I, don't. <laughs> I am not learning this stuff by committing to memory. And this was, let me see what the, the film said. <laughs> forget that quick. This is the Rock, Rocky Road mug. And like he said, I mean, you can kind of, if I go like this, it's you can see. Cool. They, they, you they, could they, see Rock. Really rocks and. Rock Donald's, you can see it. And they did a bunch of things. They got on this one. Uh, it looks like a horn. <laughs> With a horn handle. Like a mammoth. Right? And then this one. So just think, you know, like, prehistoric. It looks like see, part of the box horn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Actually, you know, for the people to even sculpt these glasses is, you know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they did the same thing with the Batman, the original Batman with Michael Keaton. They, they did some mugs. And this, this last one is called the Pre-Dawn Mug. There you go. If you look, it's got a bunch of fossils in it. You can see the fossils and you can see it. I think that happens. Yeah, this happens to me with my favorite mug. And there's a it's a bone handle. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see that you can see that. But, but maybe. Yeah, like you said, it's better. It's sometimes it's better when it has uh, like a brightly colored liquid in it. Yeah, so you, you can, can see, see what's going on. But um, it's still cool. And then we went on a rabbit hole. So I've got a complete other set of this. Um, these might be on eBay, believe it or not. So if you really want to get them, I think I have them listed on eBay. I'll be <laughs> listing them on eBay. So. Uh, maybe I'll put a link or some stuff like that. But there you anyways. go. Yeah, this is our, uh, our Flintstone collection. I'm sure I have more stuff, like with the Peter Herman video I did. I found more stuff after I did the video, <laughs> the second one, but this is the stuff I can remember. Uh, like I said, on this channel, I can go down rabbit holes. I get content from now until till I turn like 110, <laughs> uh, as you, Justin can let you know. Yep. And within collections, I got collections, so... Um, Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the Flintstone collection, and uh, happy anniversary, happy birthday, whatever, to the the live action, and uh, happy happy anniversary to the actual cartoon that started it all. And you guys will be happy to know. I don't know if you guys watch Me TV or whatever. It's not it's a plug. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, Me TV is going to do a Cartoon Network slash Boomerang thing, uh, where they're going to show all the old cartoons. Uh, Warner Brothers, uh, Hanna Barbera, all this other stuff, and uh, so you better watch it twenty four seven, like the old Cartoon Network used to be, and then what Boomerang was before they well, I don't yeah know, they try to, they try to do their own thing and they yeah it just it just not, not that beats the old cartoons nah. the old cartoons were good yeah so. <laughs> but uh, other than that uh, that's about it um, so follow my son Justin on Justin Talks Puppets and Justin Talks Puppets two you'll see his video that connects to this. You might, may or may not see me. You probably will. <laughs> yep. we, uh, yeah. So uh, if you want more in-depth stuff, that's going to be on him for the actual movie and the puppets that they did uh, versus the toys and different rabbit holes I go down. So. <laughs> but until uh, until next time, I'll be able to say, right, Justin, what do we say? Yep. Play with your toys.